Hello and welcome to Connecting You to You Radio, where we tune in to receive the messages of health and well-being that are being broadcast from the soul. I'm your host, Lisa Warner, author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. I show you how to heal your body naturally by combining your body's innate intelligence with the wisdom of your own soul so that you can break through the mental programming of limiting beliefs that cause disease and make healing your body and changing your life simple. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to another Lunch with Lisa. I'm Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing, the book that I wrote after I healed myself naturally from cancer without doctors or pills or any other treatments of any kind. And I can do this. You can do this, too. Why? Because it's our divine design. So today, let's talk about... <laughs> Is everything falling apart? Or is it actually falling together? <laughs> Today, um, as I record this, it is um, Thursday, April 18th. And as I look out at the world around me, I observe there's a lot of chaos and confusion going on. I'm seeing a lot of um, unexpected circumstances happening. I'm seeing a lot of, um, you know, there's something wrong with me. Oh my gosh, where did this come from? What's happening? And it's really easy to kind of fall down that rabbit hole of, you know, oh my gosh, this is terrible. But let's take a different perspective. Let's look from a different angle. There are two sides to everything, anything in this physical realm. Why? Because we live in polarity and physicalness. Like right now, you're looking at me from the front, but you're not seeing the back, like two sides. So what is actually happening? is not that everything is falling apart it even though it appears it may appear that way so in the grand history of earth when we step way 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 back and we look from the greatest broadest perspective this earth was created in divine perfection everything on this earth was intelligently designed the living waters the fresh airs the plants the animals the fish everything was designed for life right life is it's everywhere on this planet and this planet was designed as a paradise. It was designed that all life lives together in harmony and balance. And we can still see this today. This isn't just some, you know, like, oh, Lisa, that's just some cockamamie story. No, we can see it today. We can go out into nature where it's pristine and untouched. And if we observe for long enough, we'll see that everything helps everything else. I recently saw um, a post on social media where it was a picture of a crow that had landed on the ground, had its wings out, and it was it was looking down, and all of these ants were crawling up onto the crow. And at first it was like, oh my gosh, what's happening, right? That would be a normal reaction. But what it explained underneath was that the ants actually crawl up onto the crow 
and they leave a specific type of acid on the feathers to preserve them, to clean them, to actually help the crow. So, it, and if we observe in nature, literally everything is helping everything else. And we can say, sure, but you know, what happens when the, you know, the wolf eats the lamb or whatever? Well, it, I mean, it's also part of keeping everything in balance. When there are large herds of things, deer or antelope or, you know, right? A predator will come and take one animal. They don't come and decimate the entire herd. They take one. And it also, that keeps the herd in balance and reproducing because survival of the fittest is that when we lose one, we replace it. So everything in nature is literally designed to live in community, unity is right in the middle of that word, community, one huge ecosystem. And if we look beyond earth, we look out into the universe, into the stars, the sun, the planets, the universes, Everything is in balance. We don't see stars in the sky trying to fight each other. Everything is just in balance. Perfect balance. But here on Earth, Earth has been in a state of humanity, has been in a state of falling from grace, falling out of that balance. Humanity was designed in divine perfection, right? It, in the Bible, this is not a religious statement, but it is man was created in the likeness and image of God, meaning that we too are creators. We too are love and light. That is the core essence of who we are. The darkness is simply the absence of light. Darkness is the absence of God, source, creator. And when made physically manifest, it manifests as fear, doubt, shame, blame, guilt, chaos, confusion, war, disease, poverty, all of these things. But none of those things are intrinsic to our divine design. They're not who we are and are definitely not how we were created to live on this planet. So we look at what's happening right now. The earth has been in this state of degradation where we have been falling farther and farther away from peace and harmony, love, unity, thriving. And we have been falling. And as the earth has been falling, it has been affecting everything in all of creation. And when we look at how energy, how light works, right? We are light. It's the core of who we are. We are light compressed into physical form or focused into physical form. Light travels in wavelengths. Everything happens in rhythms and cycles. So if we look at Earth creating at the, at the crest, at the top of the wave, Earth has been falling down into the trough. We've hit the bottom of the trough. And now it's time for us to come back up. 
to where we were originally created to be. The bottom of the trot is like the worst of the worst, like chaos, confusion, war, poverty, pestilence, crime, punishment, right? That all happens down here, not up here. So we, we can't stay down here because otherwise we'll literally just destroy ourselves and the entire planet. And that is not part of the divine design. And that is not what the universe has in store for us. And it's not what we have in store for ourselves. We are here to restore the divine design. We are here to bring light back to the planet. We are here to literally birth a new earth, not the planet itself, but a new way of being in harmony with the planet. We are here to birth a new society through these bodies. So what happens when, when a woman gives birth? There's contractions. <laughs> And it may be uncomfortable, it may feel like we're being squeezed. So it may appear that things are falling apart. It may appear that things are getting worse rather than better. But are those birth contractions, are they a bad thing? No, it's how the baby comes out. There's, there can be pain. It's really not designed to be that way, but it has turned into that on this earth at this time. But what's happening as I'm looking around, I'm seeing a lot of like things seemingly falling apart. You know, lots of hacking going on, lots of all kinds of crazy stuff, lots of, you know, putting the screws to things. But what's actually happening is that squeeze for the new for the birth the universe all of the planets are coming into alignment to help that process they are the you know astrology has gotten a really bad rap because at some point in time some wise guy decided that you know putting in hey Taurus today you're gonna find your true love you know like and passing that off as astrology that's not astrology that's just garbage <laughs> but like true astrology when we actually pay attention we see what's happening from a universal perspective we can start to see that as the planets come into these alignments, they're sending, the universe is literally sending us messages, it's sending us love and light and ways that we can move through things, ways that we can see things from a different perspective. But most of humanity, we are so focused on what's happening in my own life right here, right now, we can't really see the big perspective. But it's time that we start to look from a bigger perspective. And I'm not talking really about astrology in general, but what's happening right now is that the galactic core, the center of the universe is coming into alignment. Andromeda, the, the earth, the galactic core, we are in alignment, coming into alignment right now. Jupiter and Uranus are coming into a, an alignment right now. And these are powerful planets, powerful archetypes. And when the earth comes into these alignments with the, the planets and the galactic core, a lot of energy can shift and change because we get more light than usual from the, the galactic core, the core of creation. So what's happening right now on the planet, we can look at it as, oh my gosh, it's getting worse and not better. But this is not true. There are two sides to every story. Are we, get, are we, are we getting squeezed or are we getting birthed? 
are we actually pushing our way through that birth canal? So if you are experiencing some chaos, some confusion, a squeeze, it is not because you've done anything wrong. It is not because, you know, the world is a bad place. It's not because of any of that. The stuff that is getting squeezed is being pushed up. Any of the darkness is being pushed up to the surface to be released. We can't keep anything inside us anymore. Any of the darkness that is still housed in our DNA, shame, fear, doubt, guilt, you know, anxiety, anger, any of these false belief systems, all of the darkness that is still inside our DNA, anything that is still inside our energy field, any darkness is taking up valuable real estate and it's not allowed to stay because we are moving back into the light. How we are designed is beings of light and love. Light and love are literally the fabric of our essence. That is who we are as souls. We are created in divine perfection, but we have kind of been falling out of that divine perfection for thousands upon thousands of years on this planet. And we've been living in this age of darkness, but the age of darkness is no more. It is over and done with. And we are now moving back into the light, but that can be very uncomfortable. So if we are looking at it as, oh no, this is horrible, this is falling apart, that perception will intensify because the perception itself is a distortion. So meaning it's looking at the dark side. So if there are two sides, there's a light side and a dark side a truth and a, and a fiction. And when we, even though the things that are happening to, to us, they're actually happening through us. So we are literally birthing all of this, anything that is in our energy field births into our life experience. So when we have these spaces of darkness inside they show up in our external reality not because we're bad not because we've done anything wrong but it's just that's what we have projected out into the world and when it shows up in our reality we have to look and see where did that come from every single thing that shows up in our reality came from a seed that was planted, meaning when a seed is planted, we don't see the seed, it's in the dirt. <laughs> we can walk past it a million times and never see it until it starts to sprout. And then we can still walk by it a million times and not see it. But when it grows up into a plant or into a tree, then we see it. <laughs> especially if we're walking with our head down, we bang into it. I'm like, oh my God, where'd that tree come from? <laughs> it's like, sometimes that has to happen to us, you know, or just knocks us because we haven't been paying attention. We didn't pay attention when the seed was planted. And then we didn't pay attention when it just started to sprout. And then all of a sudden it's like, wow, there it is. So the thing that has sprouted is not the problem. You know, if, if the thing that has sprouted is something that we don't want, it's a weed in our life, garden, being broke, being hacked, being, you know, having a disease, like these are not plants, flowers that we wish to have growing in our gardens, but the thing that is growing in the garden is coming from that original seed. Shame, blame, fear, doubt, guilt, worry, whatever that seed was, 
is the thing that we need to go look for, dig it up and clear it out, then everything goes away. So what are the seeds that are asking to be weeded from your garden? What are the energies? The seed is always an energy. So how does the situation make you feel? Shame, blame, fear, doubt, guilt, worry. Like what's the emotion? Because that's where you're going to find that seed. So right now in April of 2024, there's a lot of seeds sprouting because they need to be weeded. And it's up to us to start to weed them. It's not up to us to go, oh my God, this is horrible. Poor me. Look, <laughs> we can't do that. We are grand creator beings. We're not here to keep falling down the rabbit hole of darkness. Poor me. What's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? Why is this happening to me? It's not why we're here. It's not what's going to help us. We need to recognize that whatever is up in our life right now, it's just, it's there for us to move through. And the thing is, we don't have to try to figure it out. We're being asked to move from the thinker into the heart. The thinker is all of the programming that we have received. Our minds are programmable. It is how the seeds get planted, all of the negative stuff. What's wrong with you? You should be ashamed of yourself. You're a sinner. You're a bad person. Why are you doing this? Ooh, right? Those are seeds that get planted into an innocent soul. And then when that innocent soul becomes the fertile ground of, you know, there's something wrong with me, then those seeds are what grow. Those seeds were never in us to begin with, but they've been implanted. So it's time for us to take out all of the implants of darkness, to not allow ourselves to continue to go down the rabbit hole of why me? What's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? What did I do to deserve this? You didn't do anything to deserve this. You've never done anything wrong. But you have been acting on seeds that have been implanted into your energy field. So together we are here to shine our light. And the amazing thing is that when we open our heart and we let the love in, that love is literally God, source, universe, divine intelligence, whatever word you want to use, that love will literally flow in and guide us to the best possible outcome. It's not up to us to figure it out. It's up to us to stop fighting it, to stop trying to figure it out and open for divine guidance. Ask to be shown the resolution. Ask to help open your heart to the flow of divine grace. There's no more powerful force in all of the universe than love. And that love is in our hearts. It's not in our minds. So when we drop from the mind into the heart, that love starts to flow. And it start, we start to be guided step by step to the best possible outcome. Are you willing to be guided 
Are you willing to stop looking at, oh my God, there's something wrong with me. What's happening to me? Everything is falling apart. Are you willing to see that we are literally here birthing a brand new way of being in light and love on this planet so that we can all thrive together in peace and harmony and well-being. If you're watching this, it is highly likely that you are one of the team from the light that has been sent here to help humanity through this shift. And now, if you have not already opened your heart and started shining your light, now's the time <laughs> to do it. Now is the time to start looking at the bigger picture. And start seeing, start allowing yourself to be guided. Because these times are intense. But it's the birthing process. It is not a process of destruction. It's a process of birth. Right? When the woman is giving birth, if you only took a snapshot of oh my gosh, my belly is gigantic and now it hurts. We'd go, oh my gosh, what's wrong with her? <laughs> like, why did her belly get so big? Like, there's got to be something wrong with her, right? It would be easy to see, oh my gosh, this is terrible. But when we look from the other side, no, we're giving birth. The symptoms are the same. The circumstances are the same. Are we going to look at it as, oh my God, there's something horribly wrong here? Or are we going to see, oh, new life is birthing. This is magic and miracle. This is beautiful. I invite you to look at the magic and the miracles that are actually taking place. Because when we start to look at the magic and miracles, when we start to look for them, we start to see them. We've been trained to look on the dark side. The age of darkness has trained us to look at the dark. And then we just keep projecting, oh my gosh, this is terrible. And then it sprouts in our garden. Let's allow the light to start training us. Let's open our hearts and allow the light of God, source, universe, divine, father, mother, God, creator, to show us the divine perfection so that we can start to see it in our realities. All right, so if you are going through a rough time right now, please realize that it's not what it appears to be. I'm not saying to ignore it, but look from the broader perspective. And please know that you are not alone. This is happening on a worldwide basis. It's not you. Please don't take it personally. But this is where we're at at the moment. So please know that you are always protected. You are always safe. You are a, an eternal soul having an experience in physicalness. The physicalness is not who you are. The infinite being of light is who you truly are eternal light and love, eternal well-being is truly who you are. So whatever is going on right now is just a little tiny blip in the matrix. It's an experience that you as the grand soul are having. I hope this was helpful. 
if it was please share please like my video please share please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, until next time create for yourselves a beautiful life because you can you are beautiful you are love you are light project that out into the world be who you truly are till next time shine bright dear ones love you all thank you so much bye for now thanks for listening to this episode of connecting you to you radio if you've enjoyed this podcast please subscribe and share it with your friends are you ready to discover more about how simple healing your body can actually be when you do it from the higher wisdom of your soul to learn more about what i do and how you can work with me visit connecting you to you.com and get on my mailing list to be the first to know about my latest offerings if you'd like to interact with me on facebook please join my group soul sourced healing check the show notes below for these links and more i hope to see you again next time on connecting you to you radio